So step one, tell us about yourself. The key here is for you to tell something about yourself that you want them to know more. Talk about why are you here. Tell, remind them the position that you're applying for. Your hiring manager or your HR manager will already know that, number one, you are taking initiative to actually know the job. And how are you feeling? Okay, so how are you feeling generally is I would want to, to hear positive emotions. Like if I'm going into an interview, I would want to tell my interviewers that, hey, I'm, I'm really excited uh, to be here. I'm really grateful to be given this opportunity. I know some of you might be thinking, okay, what if I'm stressed? What if I'm really anxious? Think about the happy side of things. Think about the parts where it will make you feel excited and go into the interview. Second, your body language. A lot of studies have talked about this. 55% of really what make an impression is actually your nonverbal communications. 38% is delivery. So delivery is the part where, you know, the pace, the tonality, the pitch, your content and so on. And 7% is on the words that you use. Step number three, always tell stories. I really like this from an article. When someone listens to a character-driven story, their brain immediately floods with oxytocin, a love hormone. So just imagine when you're telling a story and interviewer are listening to you, they would love you a lot more because they have more hormones producing in the body. And then your question, the question would be, how do you tell stories in an interview? And let me tell you, every single experiences that you have in your life is a story. The question is how vivid are you able to tell it? Step four, show that you care. So these are the three things that you can do to show that you really care about that job application. That is if you want that job, okay? Number one, be curious. Be curious means asking a lot of questions, going in to really ask questions about the, the role, the job, and so on. Add value. This is something that I do, not most of the time, but sometimes. How I add value is I actually go and read Glassdoor reviews. So I read reviews about the company's workplace and I actually go into the interview, I actually tell them what they can improve. But adding value can be a lot of things. Adding value can also be you knowing exactly what skills you have that can add value to that role or to that team or to the company. Okay? Last but not least, thank you note. After an interview, write an email to them saying thank you to them. Or on the spot after the interview, write a thank you note and just give it to them uh, via a piece of paper. For me, that is one of the best gestures a person can do to create lasting impression.